Welcome back to another episode on the Togomat channel. So far, we've covered some of the basic understanding and key areas to evaluate when purchasing toners. Therefore, in this video, we will be focusing on some of the more frequently asked questions and myths about copier toners. The answers given below are based on our own R&D test findings using premium tone mat toners imported directly from Japan. We know some of you guys out there will have questions on how do we set the quality benchmark in determining which toners are considered good quality toners and what's not. The process of testing involves time-consuming technical procedures or numerous aspects and this segment alone is too lengthy to be included in this video. If you guys want to know more on how we conduct such testing, do leave your comments below. We will consider creating a complete video focusing on such topic in our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's start with question number one. Are all laser and copier toners the same? This is the most frequently asked question we received so far. The answer is no, definitely not the same. Copy drums are statically charged except for where the text is. Laser printers, on the other hand, work exactly the opposite way. If copy toners were used in a laser printer cartridge, your prints will probably come out in a very light grey shade and this will still occur even when the print density is set to the max. Furthermore, fusing temperatures are different. Therefore, if the wrong type of toner is being used, users will encounter fusing or fixing problems, meaning the toner might not be fused to the paper as expected causing toner peel or toner flicking off your printed document. Question number two, are toners toxic or harmful to humans? My answer is no. If you have ever changed a broken toner cartridge or dropped one on the floor, then you will likely see fine particles kick into the air. These toners behave much like fine dust and it doesn't take much force to cause toner particles to become airborne. Studies have been done on rats to determine the effects of inhaling printer toners. The most prominent study found that rats exposed low doses of printer toner experienced almost no adverse effects. Rats exposed to more amounts of toner did experience some form of lung irritation. The level of toxicity risk presented by regular office use is virtually zero. Just because something is not toxic does not mean it is not harmful in any other ways. Although the risk of handling toner cartridges is very low, you may still wish to take some precautionary measures. These simple suggestions can substantially reduce the chance for even mild irritations as a result of accidental contact with toners. Question number three. How is page U determined? The page U in most cases is set by the manufacturer. Be it OEM or compatible, page U is generally governed by the percentage of toner utilized on each individual page. Most manufacturers set their use based upon 5% toner coverage. If a page is printed and only 5% of that page is covered in prints, the U will be rich. An example of 5% coverage is a letter with a couple of paragraphs and any additional coverage on the page will lower your page U. Printing bold text, graphic prints, legal pages or double-sided printing are examples of ways that a page U may be reduced. Question number 4. Does universal toners exist? My answer is definitely no. There is no such thing as universal toners. Be it laser printers or copy machines, while toner composition can be identical, differences in particle size and toner technology used in its production generate various toner formulations that are specific to the output requirements of the machine in terms of resolution, speed, yield, and the fusing process. There are quite a number of suppliers online selling such self-proclaimed universal toners promising 100% compatibility to any printer or copier model you are using. If you search the term universal copier toners on Alibaba, you'll be surprised that there's more than a thousand results in different packaging form promising high compatibility and printing use at an unbelievable low price range. My only advice to you is, good luck trying. These toners are relatively cheap, but the actual price to pay here is not the toner. It will be the repair cost you need to bear if such toners causes any damage to the printer or copier. Therefore, the choice is yours. Question number five. Is it possible for copiers originally intended for chemical or polymerized toners to use pulverized toners instead? The answer is yes. Whether chemically or conventionally produced, the important functional characteristics must be present in the toner in order to function properly. This includes toner charging, 
surface morphology, tonal flow, thermal characteristics, and particle size. Sounds complicated, right? Well, it is. The bottom line here is that only all performance-related characteristics of the toner closely match those of the original product can conventional toners function properly in applications originally requiring chemically produced toners. As for end users, we don't expect you to take toner samples and to examine them under a microscope to find out their toner characteristics. It's just too time consuming, make no sense and definitely not practical. Distributors and manufacturers are the ones that should focus on such areas. Dealers and end users should only focus on toner's performance and results such as line quality, image density and you. Neither should be concerned with the manufacturing method. Question number 6. Are there negative aspects to using conventional toners in an application originally intended for chemical toners or vice versa? The answer is yes. Copier units are machines designed by men. The copier does not know how to distinguish or differentiate how the toner particles are being manufactured. At the current moment, there isn't any hardware in any copier model in the market that allows the copier to detect toner types in the tube or cartridge. We always advise dealers or users to use the right toner type that the copy is designed to run on to minimize unnecessary complications as chemical toners are proven to deliver higher printing use, more consistent prints and less waste. But if you rather sacrifice the above mentioned advantages due to costing issues, the choice is up to you. In the other hand, if you use chemical toners for copy machines intended for pulverized toners, you will notice a huge increase of machine performance in terms of yield and print quality. Conventional produced toners can coexist with chemically produced toners when the important functional characteristics that we've discussed earlier on are closely approximated. It is always important to keep in mind that the manufacturing process does not determine compatibility. Rather, it is the characteristics of the produced particles that makes the determination. A properly produced conventional toner can be top-loaded on a chemical toner because of the compatibility of the particle characteristics. Long story short, if you're using pulverized toners for copiers originally intended for pulverized toners and the fleet of machines are performing as expected without any signs of incompatibility for years, you can instantly switch to chemical toners without the need to worry about compatibility issues. As for copier machines originally intended to use chemical produced toners, wanting to switch to pulverized, we always advise our dealers to test such pulverized toners on a single copier to monitor the print performance for a period of one month or after 50,000 prints. Although the final print may look vivid without any flaws, it is best to check the hardware of the copier for irregularities, especially in the fixing, developer and laser unit. Always remember, the more the R&D, the more consistent and accurate the findings will be. Question number 7. Can I use toners meant for different copier brands or models for another copier or printer? Before we answer this question, we would like you to understand how such occurrence exists in the first place. For many years, printing giants like Canon and HP has been working together, hand in hand, buying, selling and sharing its printing technology to one another. If you come across compatibility listing from these two brands, you will be surprised to find out that many Canon and HP printer cartridges are compatible with one another. This relationship between the two has been for 35 years and this reflects in the similarities in its printer and spare parts design. However, when it comes to toner or ink cartridge replacement, it is advisable not to cross-use these cartridges. Most cartridges these days come with toner chips to ensure users use original cartridge so that printers can perform as expected with little to no complications whatsoever. The easiest way to get your replacement without taking any compatibility risk is to purchase the original cartridge based on your printer model. As for you guys wishing to replace your cartridge with a compatible one, we advise you to seek for a trusted or reliable local seller and not just simply doing your own refilling with refill kits you purchase online at a relatively cheap price. Coming back to the answer for this question, my answer is no. Question number 8. Will compatible toners cause the copier to run dirtier? My answer is no. Firstly, a dirty copier machine indicates that excess waste toner in the form of dust is present in the copier system. The dust remains on the surface of the OPC drums, belts, rollers, developers and laser unit. Toner dusting is not a byproduct of the manufacturing process, but rather of the toner particle characteristics. These problems are mainly caused by an even size of toner particles and mainly occurs in pulverized toners. Such symptoms might not affect print quality at times, but if left unattended, your copier prints will sooner or later be affected as these toner dust will accumulate in the developer and zone falls down to the laser unit. As a result, streaks or patches of stain will appear in all your prints. 
In the long run, you will notice that service calls will be coming in more frequent too. Besides dirty or spotted prints, your copy machine will prompt for waste toner tank full, when in actual fact, your waste toner tank is not even 20% full. Such occurrence is due to dust accumulating in the waste toner sensor, triggering the machine to stop functioning until waste tank is clean or cleared. If this is happening to your copy machines, please take immediate action as these issues will increase corrective maintenance calls and affect the lifespan of other hardware parts. Question number 9. Is using chemically produced toner more environmentally friendly than using conventional pulverized toners? My answer is yes and no. Let me explain. While it is true that the chemical manufacturing process requires less energy than conventional toner production, as with everything, they are trade-offs. Conventional toner production uses electricity to pulverize the material into smaller particles. Chemical toner production, in the other hand, uses a significant amount of water in the production process. Additionally, energy is required to recover, treat, and release the water back into the environment. Therefore, both methods are equally damaging to the environment. Machines designed for use with chemical toners are designed to fuse toner at a lower temperature. This definitely helps save more energy. The energy saving in this case are provided by the machine, not the toner. Last but not least, question number 10. Will my toner tube or cartridge expire? Toner cartridges will not dry out the same way an ink cartridge would due to the toner that is inside the cartridge. Unlike ink, which is liquid-based, Toner is a dry powder consists of plastic components, so it will not dry out. You can leave your toner cartridge in your printer for weeks untouched and it should still print. The shelf life of a printer cartridge is approximately 24 to 36 months. Most of the compatible cartridges last for 3 years after the purchase date if they remain intact in their sealed package. Even after 3 years, your cartridge might be usable, so it could be worth trying. Cartridge lasts longer when stored properly in correct environment without exposing to extreme room temperature. Once cartridge is installed, be sure that you run the print job at least once every couple of weeks to keep the cartridge in great condition. And there you have it, 10 most frequently asked questions and myth about copier toners. If you have any further questions that we did not include in this list above which you think we should, do drop us your valuable comments. We sincerely appreciate your comments and if there's sufficient questions from you guys, we are more than happy to create a part 2 version video just for you. That is all the time we have for this episode. As usual, if you like this video, do help us share, like and subscribe. There will be more cool videos coming out next week, so stay tuned and see you in our next video.